Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of 7 Max. So I didn't play this game for a long time because I got stuck and now I finally had time to look it up and finish this episode and start the new one. Don't forget we have three more to go and then we are done with this story. You keep your distance! No Tomb Raiders allowed in the burial chamber. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So, we gonna... No, we're not gonna use that. We gonna use... Uh, this. On this. Say hi to Grandpa! Well, well, look who dropped in. Ain't you a lively little wiggler? I'm oh. afraid I must be going. Wait. Grandpa's got a story for you. Yeah. Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there was a family of adorable bunny rabbits. Okay, so I got this custard. Let's move on fast and go. That seemed like a contradiction, uh -huh. doesn't it? A tree with fur on it. But it was a funny forest. Oh, good. I was waiting for Grandpa Samoth to pick those up. His inventory was looking so empty. So, uh, I have something else to do. No. So, let's move on. Little scamp got away. Yeah. Come on back out, baby. Grandpa's got lots more stories for you. Okay, I heard enough, and let's move on to the next part, which will be the journey home. Yeah. Come on. Okay, and you got stuck. Okay, I don't know why the computer did freeze. And what the? F uh, what the? Bye bye, baby. Yeah. Bye bye. So let's move on. Yes. Not here. Okay. I remember something, but now I have something in here. Maybe. I I've got something for you, Yurikin. At last! Give me the... Meta? I bared my soul in it. <laughs> oh, I am so touched to the core of my being. Let me put it among my keepsakes. Yeah. That's disgusting. Very disgusting. And... Yeah. That's, uh, oh, we're interrupting in. something. Yeah. Yes? someone in the trunk, eh? Yeah. I'm afraid railway regulation number 268 leaves us no choice but to inspect it. You're not the train conductors. We're the untrained conductors. That's correct. Well, go ahead, then. So. Clothes, blankets, pots and pans, magical bric-a-brac, no toy chest in here. I guess you're cleared. Why would we steal the toy chest back? It was hard enough to get rid of it. So, oh, Think so, this is significant? It's selectable, isn't it? That's just one of our magic spells. Pay it no mind. Only mole people can do mole magic. And that particular spell is only useful to those who are under the dread vampire curse. Mm -hmm. So, should I care or not? Okay. So, let me, now I will go. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? To the Sphinx. I will go with the challenge of the Sphinx. Who among you possesses the power to pass through the gate of the Sphinx? Uh, Is there not in this great city? Yeah, I don't care. Is he insulting? Where are we going, Samet? Little Arctic to hell. Circle. We are going to hell. Okay, that's. Come on, just. Move. They're still at it. Yeah. That's a bunch of baloney. 
Hey, nope. Slushy! <laughs> Look! It's JoJo in Bunny Boy! What the hell? Oh, the Cursely, yeah. We I... still need to come up with a good toy idea for those elves, but we'll worry about that down the line. Yeah. Whee! Hey, what can hey. I do for you, my good buddy? Just on a hypothetical, what would it mean if I found an inscription with a bat and three hands? Ah, you've discovered the reverse curse. What's the reverse curse? Handa, handa, handa. That's the <coughs> universal undo code in Egyptian magic. It negates any spell that come before. Interesting. Uh -huh. As for bats, you know that's the Wumpire curse. Right. You're not giving Wumpire reverse curse to foul elf, are you? Wouldn't dream of it. This vampire, er, vampire curse. How does it work? Is it instantaneous? No. My magic only sets process in motion. Cursed elf think himself safe now, but wait till he run into a vampire. Ha! Nothing can save him then! Maybe if he cuts the cucumber lengthwise? That's a... That's a... Bad joke. Let's uh, continue. I guess you curse a lot of guys. Eh, not so many. I cursed an interloper back at the tomb once, but that was 50 years ago. You were young. So she says to him, I can't believe you cut the cucumber lengthwise! Eh, timing is off. Yeah. What do you know about a protection spell? Oh, very powerful mole magic, wielded only by ancient and venerable mole mages. My father-in-law, for instance. Oh, so, uh, we were... Keep on cursing. Okie dokie. Oh, let's, uh, move back. Astro projector. Astro projector. So... Wanna skip ahead to the good part? Now, we will get to the journey home. Come on, move. Oh boy. Okay, so... Somebody on this tr I I'm taking off for a while. Oh. I see ya. Where do you... And now I use my candle nuts. Yep. Yes. Oh, it's just you. Yes, just me, all alone. You've got me where you want me. <laughs> There's only one thing I want. You know what that is? Uh. <laughs> um, Poor little dear. She's completely uh, tongue tied. Uh, if only we could put the words in well, her mouth. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Oh boy, that's that's not good. Shocks that stay up without leg braces? No. That wasn't me! Uh, oh. um... That's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the vampire reverse curse? Tell me, where can I find it? Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... Oh, come on, just... The sarcophagus! In the next car! Oh, I am saved from the fate worse than death! I am so happy I could kiss you! And you won't. Maybe no, no, no. But I won't. Thank you. Okay? <laughs> I feel bad. Nah. Uh, oh, let's see what's happening with Jurgen. Jurgen. See, see that that's that was a good joke. Jurgen, not gonna do it. You're gonna do it. So I have milk. Oh, and I forgot something. I forgot something that's very important. I don't know. 
know why, but it will be important. Yes. Nobody home. Of course. He's so scared about cameras. Hmm. Some sort of letter. My dearest Jorgen, what is this itch that spreads across my dewy young mole skin whenever you are near? Uh, I don't know if I should read this. No. Read no. it. Read it. <laughs> whenever you are near, it is love, and only your long, pale fingers can scratch it. Uh, <laughs> Do you itch for me as well? No need to answer. I can see the agony in your eyes when we're together. Yeah, I'll bet! But I must beg you to keep our love a secret for now. My ogre of a father would have a fit. He doesn't realize I'm no longer his little girl. And my grandfather has this crazy irrational hatred for people from Stuttgart. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Be patient, my prince. There's a place for us. A place where moles and Germans can block lips for eternity. I think I know what that place is called. Your love kitten, Nefertiti. I wonder why Grandpa Mole hates people from Stuttgart. Everyone hates people from Stuttgart. Ah, now we're getting to the good part. Yeah, but is it a romance or horror? Or the difference? Oh, yeah. Now to get a good look inside this trunk. Not so fast, Liebchen. If only we could keep him out of that room. If you'll excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. So I think I... the girl's in love. Wanna louse it up again? Okay, so I must do two things. First, we will have fun with this let's have fun <laughs> oh pardon me those beans from the dining car just caught up with me my name is Samoth by the way <laughs> oh whoops there he goes again wait it Maximus yeah that that's what that was funny uh, yep yeah. hey remember us of course! You're the wise guys who made off with the devil's toy box, the treasure we moles. Yes, I don't care. So. Yeah. Uh, After all we've been through together in real two, I feel I can speak freely. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. On whom? On uh, Jurgen. On that Jurgen guy. Ah! Tell me another! Okay. After all we've been through together in... Yes? yes? Yeah. I'm sorry to be... On whom? Yes, on us. On us? Still? Well then I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to hit you again with the old sexo rejexo hex. Oh. Uh... Until the curse wears off, the very sound of your voice will repulse the opposite sex. That's good. Keep no. riding the rails, Mr. Molman. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. Let's see. What else we can find in here? Come on. Nobody home. Nope. No. First. Me thinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. Apartment didn't come with a weird occult shrine in the closet. This must be the deluxe suite. That cephalopod has a familiar face. It's the guy from the tomb! Looks like he's lost weight. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I don't think so. under there hmm. Hmm. let's use this 
Now to get a good look inside this trunk. Not so fast, Liebchen. Ah, screw you. Okay. If only we could keep him out of that room. If you'll excuse me. I'll excuse you, but just go the fuck away and don't come the fuck back. That's... Okay, so I will move on fast. Hope the... the spell does not go out very soon. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I turn to slashy. What are you elves doing on this train? We go where Kringle goes. We're his retinue, like. Only he don't know nothing about our secret project. How many elves you got in there? At last count, 153.5. Point five? Gary, the third level paladin, is only half elf. <laughs> the paladin. I'm obviously supposed to ask you about this secret project. I ain't authorized to talk about it. You'll have to talk to the project manager. Hey, Slushy! What's up, dog? So, what's this secret project everybody's talking about? It's a new toy. Oh boy, what a toy. This baby will have old man Kringle turn and backflips once we spring it on him. Uh, just putting the finishing touches on it now. Can you give us a sneak peek? Uh -uh. We ain't letting the cat out of the bag. Not yet. Gotta get it kid tested first. To make absolutely certain we got a winner. Uh, okay. Wait right there. I've got the perfect kid for you. Yeah? That's fantastic, pal. Send him over. Good, good, good. Still have the curse. And use it. Okay, boys. Cut to the punchline. It's playtime! <laughs> okay. You really liked it, then? Liked it? I adored it! Haven't had that much fun in ages! Made me feel like a sixteen-month-old again! Hot dog, that's just what we was hoping to hear! Thanks, kid! Revelatory! Positively revelatory! I dare say that toy has changed the course of my entire life! It's a model biplane. Oh. Oh. And now... I'm... Should we go back to the earlier reors? Yep, and the Fox Challenge. Yeah, more dramatic music. And now we have the toy idea. And now we can do stuff. Hey, Slushy! <laughs> Get oh, the both toy stores closed for the day, gentlemen! To use, anyhow! We've got a toy idea that'll knock your stripy socks off. Lay it on us! If it's as good as you say, we'll happily hand this can of nuts over to you. Oh boy, that's not good. It's a toy biplane. He's on to something there. Air travel's the latest thing. It can't miss. Snuckum, get the boys working on a prototype. Post haste. I'll spring it on the boss when he's good and jollied up on milk and cookies. <laughs> it's a cinch he'll give us the old ho ho ho. <laughs> Raises all around. And you don't mind giving us that can? Oh, that. I uh, love to, Mac, but uh, me friend here sort of attached to it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's part of him. Yep. What do you say we remove some parts from some elves? After you. You ow, 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 ow. Ow. <laughs> What's that stuff that comes out of them when they splatter? Oh, sure. People use it to thicken eggnog. Oh, wait. That's disgusting. Extra! Hidden cameraman spotted in... Straight and narrow. Who can penetrate the gate of the Sphinx? Mm. We've got to beat the Sphinx challenge. Or what? Or we 
not sponsored. Ah, I like me jobs. Be my guest. The gift may kick in on the next attempt. Yes, 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 I don't care. So... Uh, no, I forgot... I, must, I forgot me can. My can of nuts. Why are you such a douchebag? <laughs> yeah. Where are we going, Samet? Little Arctic Circle. Hell. We're going to hell. That's Extra! Immigrant population tops one million. Mayor urges calm. Jabbering heathens can make decent Americans. Buy a paper, mister? Oh. So I have my can. Okay. Damn it. I was looking wrong in the inventory. We've got to beat the Spunk's challenge. Or what? Can we get in and leave me alone? Who can? Yes, I will Whee! penetrate the Spunk for you. Be my guest. The gift may kick in on the next attempt. Yes, yes, yes. yes. May the divine odor of chocolate chips prove pleasing to thy nasal cavities. Very good. You have passed the first threshold. Now, recite the words of the inscription. Uh... Foot, snake, squeakle, squeakle, bird. Yes. Impressive. Now for the supreme test. Can you pass the inner gate? You just open it. Why are you opening two times? Impressive! Now for the supreme tech. Okay, so it was a bug. Yeah, no nuts. And I'm in. So? You've done it! You have beaten the challenge of the Sphinx! You are the gifted one I have been searching for! I'm the gifted one! I'm his manager. Yeah. No matter, I've got tickets for both of you. Tomorrow morning, you set off for sunny Egypt aboard the Disorient Express. <laughs> Disorient. Gee, thanks. I may weep with gratitude, <laughs> but that's not all. An even more fabulous prize awaits you, and another challenge should you choose to accept it. I charge you with the task of delving into the actual tomb of Samun Mak and recovering the legendary Devil's Toy Box. Is that all? Say no more. We're on the case. Time to roll out Plan B. Score one for the great grandparents. Yeah, but I bet you Kringle and the elves beat them to the chest. You're nuts. Don't listen to him, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Oh, boy. So... Mm, oh, I'm done with the Sphinx challenge. Okay. Uh, in the tomb? No. The journey home? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Somebody on this train has our toy... Slushy. Let me talk to Slushy. Yeah. Can you bite? What's up, dog? Kingle. Kingle, Kingle wants, wants to see you. Ah, oh, great, because I want to see him. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face when I tell him all about our new toy biplane. <laughs> Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Ooh. Well, what did he think? Uh, who? Crinkle, about the toy. Oh, right. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I, I never made it to his compartment. I got caught up in some, uh, some poisoner business along the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. And we are done. So that's explain how... Uh, Jürgen got an emo vampire. Yes. 
No. And he has now his emo uh, song. So. Um, you're looking a little peaked. I know! I have become a vampire! A horrible creature of the night, feared and loathed by all! Ah, cheer up, Jurgen. You were loathed by all before you became a vampire! Just grow up there. Look on the bright side. Surely <laughs> the mole girl will leave you alone. Now you're a vampire. You clearly know nothing about the teenage girls. She thinks I am even more tragically sexy than before! Oh. Tough break. Yeah. I don't care. If you're still looking for the vampire reverse curse, you won't find it here. No, it's too late for that. I was just thinking how this sarcophagus would make a voodabar bed if I could find another place to stash the moldering corpse. Oh, and you Stay out of the sun. Oh, your concern is so touching. You embraced your problem. That's very good for you. You, can, you will be... An emo vampire from Stuttgart. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? In the tomb. Okay. So, we will need. There must be a way to undo that protection spell Oops. so we can get our hands on the double slip in, did it? Well, <laughs> I oh, guess you can stay. You. Snuck past my death trap, did you, you rascals? Well, you beat me fair and square. What can I do for you? Uh, picked a vacation spot yet? No, darn it, I just can't decide. Where'd you boys say you were from again? Stuttgart. You wouldn't have heard of it. A little town called Stuttgart. Stuttgart? You mean to tell me I've been standing here talking to a couple of dang, nab, dead, blasted Stuttgartarians? <laughs> What's your language, Gramps? No cursing in the burial chamber. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. You ain't experienced cursing till you got a snoot full of my extra spicy bad luck whammy. Mm. Yeah. Call it heads or tails. Tails. No heads. Hell, no tails. You lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, we're so lucky. Except, of course, when it's unlucky to be lucky. So, throwing junk on the door. Come on. Oh. Hey! Don't <laughs> throw things to the doorway of death! Do you want to dull the blades? Uh, yeah. That, that was my intention to do. Okay, thank you anyway. Whee! I barely touched you. I, I was barely near you. So. Come on, come on, come on. And this piece here. And... <laughs> Yes, I'm a genius. Thank, thank God, I I I solved even the puzzle. Moving on. Come on, can you move any faster, please? Oh. Hey, we're the meat-based version of us again. Now to scramble this security spell. Great. They're welded in place. Oh, what a, what a problem. It's a perfectly fine protection spell, but I think we can improve it. What a problem, but I have to. That's an inscription. What's all the commotion? Did I forget to cast the protection spell? Yeah. Good one, Gramps. And now we look.
No moles in sight. Stone Guardian guys, otherwise occupied. Unbreakable spell of protection, broken. Nothing standing between us and that toy box but air. Come on, little buddy, let's go get it. I think this is where we came in. I'm experiencing a newfound sense of respect for our forebears, Samoth. I mean, Sam. I know how you feel, little buddy. Say what you will about our gene pool. It did manage to produce a couple of winners. You hear that? You guys are winners! If you factor out the squalid death in a dirty boiler room... That, that's... That's not nice. So, the journey home. Somebody on this train has our toy box, and we're gonna get it back. No point in that. No, I will need these. Pringle likes cookies. Devil's toy box in there. Mm. So no milk. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, I. As a responsible adult. <laughs> <laughs> as a responsible adult, I feel it's my duty to give you this. Hey. Huh? My dearest Jurgen, dewy young moleskin, long pale fingers. A Nefertiti! Dad! <laughs> We're in love! <laughs> you are not! I hope I am not interrupting any soon. Debaucher, cradle robber, despoiler of innocence! Hmm, perhaps this is a bad time. I curse you! No! Whatever. <laughs> You'll survive. Yeah, survive <laughs> this. Oh, I have to make him a cow and milk him. The whole oh. scene hex. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, come on, come on, Rex. I, I don't like this any better than you do, little buddy. I have to milk you. Uh. Nature's miracle. Disgusting. Keep working at it. So this was disgusting. And unwanted. It cannot be unseen. Yeah. Come on, Maximus. And you have your place of milk. Who oh, likes milk? Of course, of course. Is it now? Uh, room service, yeah. Room service? For the love of Blitzen, it's about damn time. Yeah, hold on a minute. You two. Oh. Who is it? It's us. Hand it over, Kringle. That toy box is ours. We stole it fair and square! <laughs> I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Now scrap, before I call the conductor and have you confined to the lunatic car. There's a lunatic car? Yeah. First time I hear about this. So what's in here? Oh, that's our... Unexpected for for 
sorry, me. Uh, I had to use the candle guns. So. Who is it now? Who is it? A man could go without cookies and milk only so long. Okay, come on. Uh, can of nuts. Good. Cookies and milk, and they threw in a free can of nuts to make up for the inconvenience. Oh, you're yes. bad for me, you naughty little snacks. <laughs> but you go down so good. And you're a creep. What the hollyberries? He's out cold. Okay. So let's use the steamer trunk. It's empty. What? You mean I gave up my precious milk for nothing? Uh, Wait a minute. There's a note. The Brotherhood of Young Sagoth. Who could have written this? Who indeed? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. My word. I've been double crossed! Out, damn you, out! <laughs> what now? Oh, can I take the garlic? From your camp? Yeah? I should take the garlic. Nobody home. Oh. Shall we? Yes, let's shall. Oh, no, you don't. Garlic, crosses. My own protective talismans are keeping me away. Oh, the bitter irony of it all. <laughs> curses. Curses indeed. Stop. Get your filthy hands off that toy box. It's not for the likes of you. It's empty. What? The trunk is empty. No. I have failed you, Yog Sagoth, but you will be avenged. You know, even for a vampire, he's a weirdo. Well, that's the lot of them, little buddy. We've cleared every name on the list. Except one. Huh? I must admit, you had me fooled, Sameth. Always so concerned about the missing toy box and the way you were always slipping off for a smoke break. I never slipped off for Grand a... Central Station. Now arriving at Grand Central Station, New York, New York. What's that? Baby, baby Amelia, Amelia Earhart? Earhart? Yes, Baby Amelia Earhart. Little Baby Amelia Earhart, not worth bothering with, not good enough to play with the big boys. Oh no, she's just a woman. Well, it appears this insignificant female has beat quite a few of the big boys at their own game, and now she's going home with all the toys, while the others are left scratching their heads, wondering what hit them. Grand Central Station! Any last words before we part? Uh... Share? It's nice to share. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic for a boss fight. <laughs> I thought it was exciting. Let's take this toy box and skedaddle, little pal. We've got an appointment with Monsieur Paperweight. That's it? No, no final embrace? No slow fade? No interminable credit sequence with cheesy pop cover of the title tune? No, it ain't over yet, little buddy. We've still got the most important reel to go, remember? I think the story's about to come to a head. And uh, speaking of coming to a head, I need to duck out for a minute. Don't you start the last reel without me. Oh, he will do it. He will do it, yes. He did it. <laughs> so tell me, Samoth and Maximus, to begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? Uh... After we got the can of nuts back from the elves, my little buddy and I squished into it and rode the Sphinx's tongue through the gate. An astounding story, all the more convincing for being implausible. Now do we get our... However, 
Once inside the tomb of Samun Mak, you are faced with many more dangers. Magic spells, deadly traps, bloodthirsty mole men. However did you manage to beat the odds and secure the devil's toy box? Uh... I, I don't know... Cleverly noting that Grandpa Mole took his cues from a hieroglyphic inscription, we turned ourselves into bas-relief tune carvings, shuffled over to the marquee where the inscription was located, and added additional glyphs which had the effect of reversing the spell. And also we got eaten and spit up by an asp! What a strange and compelling, if convoluted, story! Audience, give them a hand for what they've been through! <laughs> and the adventure does not end there! I'm told that you two were victims of a brazen daytime heist on the train ride back from Egypt. Can you tell the audience how you managed to thwart the thief and recover the treasure? Uh... Plot twist. We recovered the box through a surprising plot twist. Oh? What? If we told you, it wouldn't be a surprise! The robbery was committed by none other than that irrepressible scamp, baby Amelia Earhart. She almost got away with it, but we were a little too tough for her. A resourceful duo, don't you agree? That's nice. Now how about that reward? Fear not, my talented little logomorph. You will receive your reward, right? No! Are you a mole or what? My dear Maximus, you have been chosen to play the starring role in the greatest spectacle of the age! The summoning of Yag Sagar. Oh, I, know I have. Where's Samet? Yag Sagoth, most terrible of the ancient ones, banished from this earthy plane for six long millennia. But you, with your extraordinary psychic gift, you will intone the words to bring him from the realm of darkness into the light. The hell I will. Yes, the hell you will. If you refuse to play your role, a certain friend of yours will meet an unfortunate demise. Sam <clears throat> An unfortunate demise in a vat of flesh-eating ants. Yikes! But are you sure this role is me? You are the one with the gift. Which reminds me. No. Can't have you pulling any funny business. No. All right then, let's get it over with. Cue up the entrance music. Yog Sagoth, primal prince of chaotic night, descend to us through the writhing wastes of utter darkness. We summon thee with the deathless words from the Book of Abominations. Now you say, Umke Onine, the other race Einfe. Uh. Umke Onine, the other way. It's happening! Yeah, well, we aim to please. Catch your... Wait. One little thing I forgot to mention. Yag Zagath demands the sacrifice... That's your problem. ...of the one in the summoning circle. What the... Such a pity. Welcome, my lord. Whoa, forget this. Scenes like this are unsuitable for impressionable viewers like me. In the chest! Yog Sagoth? Tentacles, glowing red eyes. Yep, gotta be him. Shorter than I expected him to be. <laughs> Let me see. Where? Where? Look close. Oh. And now I say my phrase. We've already finished the other reels. Oh. Atmospheric touch. Uh -uh. Lies. I want. So now. Now 
Now you say, Umke Onine, the other way's Einfe. And now I will. Hi there, you. Yaksaga! You can't fool me again. Hmm? What's that you say? You wanna be my demon creature? Let me see. Where? Where? I will not let you see. Look Don't close. Throw the bunny. Closer. Much closer. And bye bye. Okay, on in a the other ways I'm fay. Uh oh. You screwed up. Screwed up, man. Well, that was impressively grotesque. We certainly gave the audience their money's worth, wouldn't you say, folks? They're gone. They are gone. What about this thing? Oh, that's right. Can't have the Devil's Toy Box falling into any other villainous hands. Where should we stash it? Somewhere safe? Fellas, fellas! I appreciate your thinking of us, but we don't do that old world hocus pocus anymore. I got a nice dry cleaning business, and Nefertiti is going to school. For... Dad, I told you it isn't Nefertiti anymore. It's bubbles. <laughs> Sorry, we bubbles. can't help you, bubbles, but bubbles, bubbles. you'll see how it is. Yeah, we see how it is. Come on, Maximus. Boy, America sure has changed these guys. I hardly recognize them. Look, Samoth, they even slice their cucumbers lengthwise. What? Oh, no. Miska, these do the fizzle Einzefeld. It is true. Papa, have we fallen so far? We have forgotten our heritage. We have forgotten we are moles. Okay. We'll take the toy chest back. Great. Keep us posted if. But you've got to help us guard it. You will live here in this boiler room with us. There's plenty of space. How about we compromise? Our kids will open an office in the building and help you keep an eye on the chest. We've got kids? Shut up, Maximus. It's a deal. Mm, now let's see. We'd better cast that spell of protection to keep it safe. Let me do it, Dad. Stand over there so you don't get zapped by the magic. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> let's see. How does it go again? <gasps> the Holstein Hex! You're not turning me into no cow! What the hell? So that's how they got these characters. You know, there's a great basement apartment opening up on 83rd Street. Two bedrooms, built-in washer dryer. The end? Or not? Two skeletons, four mouldering reels of film, and one buried toy box. A century-old story, now forgotten in the sub-basement of history. But the past has a disconcerting tendency to claw through the freshly laid sod of the present and wrap its cadaverous fingers around the entrails of the future. Well, that took longer than expected. The restroom in the train station was closed, so I had to... Hey! You watched the ending without me, didn't you, you malevolent little fiend? So tell me, what was the big final act twist? Samoth and Maximus dragged underground by sex-crazed anarchist sewer rats? What the hell? Come on, little buddy. Don't Is keep me in suspense. Obviously, the story was moving towards some mind-boggling final twist. So what was it? Okay. Max, he's, what's he's wrong dead. with... You. Yeah. Totally dead. Little buddy? Oh, boy. Oh. They stole his brain. Why? Yuck. That's disgusting. That's very disgusting. Keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. The ride is about to get twisty. Next episode, I have to retrieve Max Brain. Okay. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next.
next episode and don't forget to leave a like and a comment and thank you again for staying with me until now and i will see you in the next adventure bye